Now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist TJ Springer. We're keeping our eyes on a stronger complex of storms that is working our way, working its way on in, I should say. And right now, the main one non-severe at the moment, but still producing some lightning, some downpours that is really hurriedly getting through the western reaches of the Susquehanna Valley, really from eastern Franklin County up into some of Mifflin and Juniata County. We're seeing this uh, cluster impact you, but the bulk of the severe weather on the Storm Team Live Radar Network has been off to the north. Let's zoom in and talk about this right now, really from about South Mountain up to Route 30 northward from there. That's where we're seeing some of the heavier rain just to the north and east of Shippensburg along US Route 11, really from Newville northward into some of uh, Juniata and uh, Mifflin counties. You can see from Reeds Gap eastward toward about Ixburg up toward Port Royal, some lightning, maybe some small hail possibly embedded in this cluster of activity too, as well as gusty wind possibly beyond that 35 mile per hour range. It does look more threatening now as we take that live glance to the north and west of the capital city. So this is going to impact Harrisburg in the next half hour or so as it continues to work its way off toward the east. It's running into that instability thanks to the higher dew points and the heat that we have. Readings in the mid to upper 60s. It feels steamy out there. Not the most comfortable feel to be out and about for sure. And with temperatures like this in the 90s, we have that perfect combo to fuel any severe weather that could spark. We're just really missing that lift and that's going to come from the cold front later on uh, tonight. We're sitting in the low to mid 90s at the moment. We'll fall back into the low to mid 80s though as storms continue to develop through the rest of the evening. Again, a few of those could be severe. That's why it's an impact evening for us. We'll have the rain and storms around early before tapering off closer to midnight in the middle 60s to around 70 for our uh, overnight lows. Then tomorrow we're back into the mid to upper 80s, which is seasonable for this time of the year. We'll see more sunshine as drier air takes over. And with that, that northwesterly breeze, it's not going to be as humid. It'll feel a lot better across the valley. The big story now, though, is of course the storminess. We have this two out of five risk, a slight risk encompassing all of the region, and that means scattered severe storms are a possibility. So with that, we are expecting that chance for a few severe storms here this evening, but to the north where we have this watch until nine, that's where we have a greater threat of severe storms, but we could see this get extended and expanded. The Storm Prediction Center was conversing about that. We do have some ingredients here, but right now we're kind of lacking that lift, so it's kind of a race against the clock if we can get that cold front in here sooner, but I still don't think it's going to be until around let's say 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock or so this evening. Now, in terms of our threats from this activity tonight, I'm thinking damaging wind and heavy rain are the main hazards, but we can't rule out a bit of hail or a rogue uh, tornado possible. We, we do have some wind shear, not a lot. Better chances for that are off toward the north. So that's something we'll be keeping tabs on for sure. Our next four at four, we are expecting temperatures to be back into the middle 80s tomorrow. A lot better of a feeling for us, much better for us here across the valley. Middle 80s Friday, but then we start to hike back up close to 90 for this upcoming weekend. So if you have any outdoor plans, you want to keep tabs on our latest forecast. But it looks like we could have the potential for maybe a couple stronger storms once again, Michael, as we head later into the weekend.